Hello, welcome to Skyward Hacks. Let's have some fun writing a Kafka Java application in Emacs. So here I have my Kafka. My palm is really, really simple. I'll show you that though. So it is only as logging and Kafka streams. That's it. That's the only dependency. And I'm using Java 21. And I'm ensuring that I got stable builds using UDF8 encoding. That's about it. All right, so let's go. So the first thing we need is if I can switch buffer uh, name, no, what do you call Kafka app? Yeah, there we go. So I need a main method, and uh, the first thing I want to do is to say Kafka app uh, equals yeah, new Kafka app. Yeah, that's it. And then I would like you to do, say, what do I want to say? I want to create some, produce some Kafka uh, messages. And I want some topics for them. And then afterwards, I want uh, not to produce, but I want to consume some Kafka messages from the same topics. And um, I'll make that a list of strings for topics, uh, topics, uh, arrays, as list. And since I want to run this many times, I want unique topic names. Um, so I will make uh, topics and just add a timestamp there so I get new topics each time I run the application. And uh, I'll make a few more. I will make one for orcs and I will make one for dragons. I guess dragons are cool. There we go. Now I can create that method and I can create that method. And um, let's see her name. So let's see. I like my parameters to be p prefix. And just for good measure, I'll give that a final. And final here. Yeah, there we go. So let's produce them first. That's that's logical, right? We produce messages first. So we need something called a producer. So um, make that into a try with auto close, just like that. So anything I write in here will be automatically closed once the code is run straight. Uh, let's see her name. Then I need a consumer. So this is a Kafka thing. Kafka, you can see there. And um, that should be string of strings. And I can say it's a consumer, so the key and the values are strings. New um, Kafka, what? Kafka consumer. And what we don't need. Uh -huh. And then here, I need some properties. I need some connection properties. So I just call them props. And then I need a string serializer. That's the serializer key. And I need to save one for the value. So if you had more complex objects, your domain objects, you would typically then have your own serializer and deserializer for the value and the key. Typically, that's a string. But of course, if you want a complex field as a key, you can have your own serializer, but now I'm using the default Kafka string serializers. You can see down here it says or Apache Kafka common serializer. So then I can create a local variable called crops. Oh, that should be an update. It should be properties equals new properties. And then you can say hooks, and then you can say I do recommend there is a constant class in Kafka that you can, so that you don't mess up the keys, the property, the initialization keys for consumers and producers. There are a lot of pro, uh, configuration going around on the internet. And sometimes you set consumer specific uh, configuration or people set consumer specific uh, configuration on producers and vice versa. So using this consumer config class allows you ensures that you are using only the right keys. And so what we want is bootstrap server config. And we want the default, which is 92, I think. 
and see if that works. Um, beer, and then, yeah, I think we're good to go. So this stuff here, and then I'm inside the tray. Yeah, very good. So having this inside of the tray ensures that the consumer is automatically closed once the code runs straight. So I think that's a really nice property. Now we need to create a record. So there's classes for that. So let's do consumer. And then I can say, what should we do with it? This is send, not see, cons not, I don't know. Huh? I don't want consumer, I'm all wrong here. Let's put user first. Put user, Kafka, probably user, there we go. Um, then we can do the producer, producer dot, and then we can send stuff. So here I can send a record. So let's do that. Um, so this is a new produce record and uh, you can add topic, um, which we don't have at the moment. So we will create, we will give for the, to you all the topics that are passed to the method. Okay, there we go. There, and then we need a key and a value. Um, so I will just do key and the value, I will just do milliseconds it's not too important it's just to have something that changes and uh, strength and long yeah so I can long and I can say to string something like that and then I have a record um it's not property that always helps let's see you always get some parentheses it's almost like list programming you always have a parenthesis missing somewhere all right, so this is producer.send, make a new producer record for the topic and key, and there we go. So once you have sent that off, you can assign that to a local variable, uh, which is a future, future record. And then if you do future record uh, get, you get a, a record, uh, what's it called? The same key, what was I going that's good enough. Um, and then we can say, ah, uh, okay, nice, uh, yeah. Created, created Kafka message. Here we go. And now, if we run this small application, it should work, which it doesn't. Uh, so we need to throw this exception. That's also what I got Emacs tried to tell me about the listen. So, uh, and post declaration. Let's see if that just does away with it. Uh, now what's wrong? Um, so that one again. Okay, so add stroke declaration. So, I see. I made the editor just add them up here. Okay. Now, let's see if my producer works. Yes. Okay. So when I run this now, it creates one message pair topic. So I've got hobbits and then a timestamp, uh, orcs and dragons. And a zero here, that's the partition. And here I have partition zero. So don't worry about that. That's some. Kafka internal things that you can look into to for optimization, but for now we just use partition zero is all good. All right, so now we've created a Kafka consumer uh, producer. All right, um, here so try create a producer in there and then iterate through the topics. And we do a producer send, we get a record meta, which is a future thing. So then we had to get it. We do that here. And then we print out the, the record that we got from Kafka. All right. Uh, so that was the first thing we did. And the main method was to produce some Kafka messages. And now we're going to consume some Kafka messages. 
Um, so we do the same thing that we did in the produce step. It's just that we, instead of consumer config, we use producer. And the key is the same. And you can check that by jumping into the file, go back again, it is the same thing. Um, when in a later episode, we'll get into performance tuning and there the keys are a lot more important to get. Right, so as you saw, because I was typing the wrong class earlier, you can see that API is very similar, right? So instead of producer, I will have consumer, uh, consumer, Kafka, consumer, and then instead of serializer, you need a D serializer, right? And string D serializer, very good. And, and so this was the Kafka consumer, yeah. And string deserializer, yeah, that's there. And then we need a something called a topic partition. That's like a pointer that the Kafka API uses to point out where you want to write. So let's play that. Um, uh, let's see, so that's called topic partition. Um, we just call it public partition as well, and public partition. And I think you can just pass in topic. Let's see, am I right? Maybe not. No, that's not it. So I need zero. That was on. I thought we had one. Oh, anyway. So then you can do this consumer, and then you can assign what? Um, What's it called? As or something and to do arrays as this stuff. Come on. Can you do that? The topic partition because you can assign several partitions so you can read from more than one. We only have one here now, so um what am I doing wrong? No. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, well, well, we are right. Okay, so consumer is in, and then you can say consumer seek to beginning um, of the partitions. So again, uh, there is a list of the topic partition there, and then you can start reading. So consumer. Um, it's not called read, it's called pull, and then for timing, and then we could do, okay, it was like read timing, right, so then we, this typically, it's read timing, typically comes from a configuration file, how long you want to read, this is like the, uh, maximum timeout thing, there are a lot of parameters you can tweak with the Kafka, uh, connector here, uh, this is like, Think about this as the default, the fallback timeout. Uh, create field read timeout. And you can assign that to a new local variable. Uh, can call it consumer language. Okay. And then. Eh, 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 in consumer records, you can uh, read Kafka message, and then did it? Can you remember? No, it's that acceptable. Here we go. So consumer records, and I think we need. And at least to check this one out because that's duration of seconds and we can wait for five seconds since we are very nice here we go okay so we have a minimum set of configuration where to find the kafka server then we inside a tray with auto close, we create a new consumer uh, with standard string deserializers for the key and the value. And then we iterate through the topics that we get in and we consume each of these topics. 
from partition zero that we agreed on. It's not as important right now. Um, we assign the consumer to this partition. Say this is where you're gonna uh, gonna work and seek to the beginning because we want to get all the messages from the beginning of the time. Kafka by default saves messages for two weeks, so this would be two two weeks worth of messages if nothing else has been configured or changed. And so then we read them for a maximum of five seconds, and then we printed out what we got. So let's see if this works. So do you make compile and run? Just make that a little bigger. Exciting. Right. Yes. Awesome. Success. Right. So we created a really advanced Kafka application here. We got when we are we are creating messages and we are reading messages as well. So here you can see the consumer record. So that's a Kafka class uh, with a topic. That's Hobbits, Partition Zero that we talked about. Um, and we got a value. Um, and um, yeah, then we got orcs and we got dragons. We got everything, everything we want. And uh, yeah, it all ran in five seconds. That was, uh, that was good. So with that, that's what I want to show you today. That's uh, one small, simple application using Kafka in Java and Emacs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.